Hi Toronto Marlies, my name is Sophia Rizzo, resident of Woodbridge, Ontario. I'm in one of my favorite stores in Woodbridge, mostly because it's related to hockey. So, I work at the Hockey Hall of Fame, and it's one of the best places to work, mostly because it's the number one place for a hockey fanatic. I mean, every day with Lord Stanley's Cup, can you get any better? And just to prove how much of a fanatic I really am, the boy that trained me on the very first day automatically wrote me off as someone who is a typical puck buddy, just into hockey for influences and just about any other thing besides the player's place. And he said to me, I think you know more about hockey than I do. So I guess reading hockey blogs, keeping up with stats and facts, and of course, keeping up with my favorite classic Leafs games do help out once in a while. And yes, if you were wondering, I do bring up Leafs stats and any other stats around the NHL at parties. Yeah, it's a pretty big hit. So I've always been a very crazy, fanatical hockey fan. Just to prove it to you, for my 4th, 5th, and 6th birthday, my mom, yes, at my request, decided to get me a cake shaped like the Stanley Cup. We got into a little argument on the 6th birthday though because, you know, conflict of interest. My mom wanted the cake cut. I didn't want to hurt Lord Stanley. Can you see the little bit of the dilemma here? But it makes for a funny story when you're all nicely grown up. So now that you've gone to know my quirky side, I'd like to tell you how I think I can contribute to the Toronto Marlies this coming season. I'm someone who's very confident and comfortable in front of a camera and talking to new people in new situations. I'm definitely not afraid to talk to Marlies fans about personal and intimate details. About Toronto Marlies experiences, of course! And I'm definitely, definitely comfortable with taking direction and thinking on my feet like this. Whether I'm talking to one person, a group of people, or an entire Rico Coliseum filled with enthusiastic Marley fans, it does not scare me. I'm ready to take one, or even two, for the team. I'm a team player, and you always see a smile on this face. If it's hockey related, I am ready to suit up and make sure the Toronto Marlies are always my number one priority. At the end of the day, it's always a job well done in my book. So at the Hockey Hall of Fame, the most common question I'm asked is, is this the real Stanley Cup? I thought it was touring. How many are there? Well, to be honest, there are three Stanley Cups. The first is the original bowl Lord Stanley donated to the league back when there were the original six before expansion. The second is a replica of that bowl and all the players' names listed underneath. That one will travel with the players for 100 days after winning the cup, but also do an NHL tour before that. And yes, that is also the cup that you see in Vegas right now for the NHL Awards. The third and final cup is a resident cup that stays in the Hockey Hall of Fame in the Verizon Great Hall. That cup only leaves the Hockey Hall of Fame to be engraved. After that little touch-up is done, it comes back to the Hall of Fame. We keep it on reserve and back when his brother's out partying and living it up, NHL style, that one goes back on our stand and that's the one you on the fans get to touch, take pictures, and maybe kiss a couple times. As long as you don't take it on a date, we're happy if you kiss it. <laughs> so let's go talk to someone about the Toronto Marlies. Um, hey, do you know about the Toronto Marlies? I do. Okay. Tell me your favorite Marlies player. I'd probably have to say Andre Duvall. Okay, and why? Well, he's a tough guy. He could, uh, he could throw him, and he's uh, pretty good in the corners. That's what I like. All right. So. So if you're battling along the boards against him, now honestly, who do you think would win? I'd, ha I'd have to say him. You have to say him? Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Good Thank answer. You. Thanks, Toronto Marlies. So remember, Sophia Rizzo and the Toronto Marlies make a winning combination.